الإعجاز الإيمي في القرآن الكريم معناه إثبات سبق القرآن الكريم بالإشارة إلى كم هائل من الحقائق العلمية التي لم تكن معروفة في زمن الوحي ولم يكن ممكنا لأحد من البشر إدراكها في زمن الوحي ولم تدرك إلا في القرنين الماضيين وبعضها في العقود المتأخرة من القرن العشرين In general, if you think about the Quran, there are all kinds of signs in it and all kinds of indications of the importance of knowledge and the importance of investigation and the importance of seeking to know more about God's creations. You cannot take what is in the Quran as a fit or complete, as a something that has been completed and this is it and this is all the science there is and you don't need to study anything else if you read the Quran. That can be dangerous and wrong. In many books, I found a lot of things which are speculation of the minds and, uh, and sometimes extremely dangerous. Extremely dangerous. As a scientist, when you're dealing with scientific method, you deal with absolute proofs. So you say, you know, this does this, and I can prove it, and I can show it. So you're not likely to refer to the Quran because it's not within your scientific culture. And I think that's right. What I'm doing is approaching the Quran in a way, I've approached it in a scientific way, saying it purports to be the word of God and these things in it are revealed to be right. <laughs> Did you see that the heavens and the earth were filled with water?